Hey YouTube, Vinti Scrapper here. Um, first video, so I'm going to take and show you some of the things that um, I started selling on Etsy. Um, this one's kind of a a big lot, so it's hard to take some pictures, so I'm going to upload a video for my Etsy account from here. But this is the, the first vintage piece that um, I have. As you can see, there's a lot of... Uh, little details to it. A lot of little pieces of bling and um, beads and stuff on it and all my my uh, cards, the scrapbook cards. Um, some of the pieces are are beveled up, they are three-dimensional but all my cards are two-sided and they have uh, a lot of things that are interactive with a card. Um, these are more uh, trinket-like items that go in the junk, the junk scrapbooks or um, the junk journals, I should say. So that's just one piece that I am selling with this set. And here's another piece that goes with it. It's got the burlap flower with a little bling in it and it's got some vintage fabric with some lace on on this and it's got the vintage lace with the, the tuck spot and it's got the the paper clip with a little journal piece here and this has also got some journaling spot on the back uh, again, all my pieces are, are two-sided, and this one comes with um, the two removable pieces on it. And then there's the bling corset, and this is actually um, hand-stitched. The, the stitching that's in here was all hand-stitched, and then the pearls and the bling along with the little tuck spot and the little butterfly that kind of goes with the butterfly on the corset. Um, so the little little butterfly with a little pearl on it and then the bingo card and then there's some uh, stamped gears on there along with the tuck spot. This does not need to be on here for the tuck spot um, to hold it. It's just something that I've put on there. I apologize for my horrible looking hands. And then the next piece which is um, got a couple removable things on this side. This is removable. It's a little flag. It says to my love. And then the butterfly with um, the uh, glitter and the little bling and some number keys that were added along with some bling up here and then on this side it does have this type of tuck spot with hope love and hope love and live on that and then some more uh, typewriter tabs and this right here was was sewn as well as you can see, um, this tag does not remove. It is fastened with a little bit of vintage lace on the bottom. And then we have this one that says Lucky, or should I say Luck, not Lucky, Luck. And as you can see, it's got a little tuck spot here with a little tag with some writing spots on the back. And it's also got the little... Um, safety pin with the beads on it with the vintage ribbon and that gets put in and then on the back of this one it's got um, some cork with some stamping on it and another number key from a typewriter along with some journaling spots up here And then there's this one. Sorry, I'm going through the pile. Like I said, there's a uh, it's a huge lot that I'm 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 selling. Um, 
a little bead rolling off. And this one here is um, got the little snap on it, and it does. It is a workable snap. It does snap, and that's the back of the card. And this is the inside. This is I call um, my miniature love letters, and this is a little envelope with little uh, shakeable hearts in it. They they do move around in there. And then there's the little postcard that's on in there. And then there's some paper that can be used, vintage paper that can be used for journaling. It's just some torn up vintage paper. And then with that, uh, let me pull this off real quick. There is the miniature love letter, and it is an actual letter that's in here that has been, as you can see, it kind of fits almost in my hand. Um, but it's got journaling spots on the back, so if you wanted to journal on that, you could. There's that. Now, I won't put this back together. I'll just set it over here for right now. And then with that, there's a bunch of little pieces. There's three tags. There's a larger one, as you can see. It's not as, they're not as big, but they um, pretty much say the same thing. And this one comes with the tassel on it. And it's just the pink on the back. These two here do have the vintage journaling paper on the back. And, um, you know, there's there's no rivets or, or eyelets in this one. And then there's the ones with the flowers. Uh, this one here looks like it's got some prices on it of some flowers. And this does have a journaling spot on it. Along with, here's another one. Um, it's you know, got the flower on it, some some directions and stuff like that on the flower. And that's got a journaling spot on it. And then there's this one. And it's they're just really pretty um, cards. It's something that um, I feel can be added to somebody's journal if you're not good at putting the, the cards together, but you really want to put together a journal. And then I've got some little pieces that go in a journal spot. It's just an old library card. And it's, you know, got the journaling spot on the back and some spaces here. And then I've got the, the flower um, that can be, you know, tacked down inside a, of it that's going along with it. Kind of matches the, the pink that I'm going with. And then I've got this card here that um, I'm getting ready to put the journal paper on the back of this and that will look just like like this. It will have that type of journal paper on the back. So there's that one and then there's the postcard that again will have the these are are pretty thick. These are cardstock um, chipboard pieces so um, and this one will have the scrap or the journaling paper on the back of this one as well and then the last piece is this piece here um, I don't know if you can see the whole thing or not but this piece comes out there's some faux leather here that that holds this in and there's journaling spots on the back of this and if you flip it over, there's this with the the chips on here. Um, I don't know, number chips I call them. And then it's got another part of a love letter here with some vintage tags and some uh, other vintage pieces. And this one's got an old book, um, pages that have been torn up and taped on that. 
so this can be journaled on as well. So all together, um, there's roughly about 32 pieces that um, I have with this. And um, sooner or later I'm going to get where I'm going to actually start making videos on, on me putting these together because I find doing this very, very, very relaxing. Um, other than that, if you're interested and you'd like, you can visit my shop on uh, Etsy or, um, you know, like and subscribe and I'll try to keep up with uploading some more videos of some of the projects that I've made. Thank you everyone and, and have a good night.